All right, Crack 36, and here we are. This is the big stumble moment for uh, the Axis. Um, <clears throat> Author Bomber's hair sees a chance. Um, and uh, takes it. And here is... Japan. All right, here it is. So he says, um, play it out or call it a game. So there it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but um, it is five subs, which can be ignored by the presence of one sub, one transport, mech, infantry, against and three bombers versus one infantry <clears throat> so um, interesting uh, rule that's it uh, and then he says am I missing any rule that prevents me from ignoring your son's subs and doing this attack so my game says you can't ignore my subs. You need a surface ship for that. At least that's my understanding of the rules. My subs will fight. The rules just mention warship. Nothing about needing a surface ship. Um, and uh, it looks like they get a clarification. And a gamer jumps in. Says the sub, the U.S. sub is able to ignore all the Japanese subs. Allowing the transport to proceed unobstructed. A sub is a warship, though not a surface ship. So the presence of a sub allows enemy subs to be ignored for an amb amphibious assault. So ABH asks Craigund, uh, what is your recommendation, recommendation of a fair way to proceed in this match? And here is Arthur Bomber Harris. This is obviously a mistake, full, major mistake on my part. I am fully okay if you decide not to change anything, and will of course surrender after the loss of Tokyo. I think I'm a ways away, far from where the Axis need to be for a chance to win this game. Should you decide to continue with modifications, I am of course willing to fight on. Nevertheless, it would need to be thought on how to do that. And then Arthur Brahma Harris, instead of accepting the victory, he goes, okay, what do you want to do? And he says he needs to do, the he revised the build as well. So um, they do. And uh, so people congratulate Arthur Brahma Harris. On, uh, I don't think it's appropriate to win because of a rule and misunderstanding. I have to disagree with that. I think probably... Knowing the rules is kind of a big part of it. And I've certainly suffered not knowing some rules. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so. I have edited the build and the non-com as follows. Um, okay, so we're going to load this up. And see what we see. This could give you a twenty percent chance of winning the battle in Japan, but we'll leave it with the, I will leave it with this. I could have also deleted. Okay.
So, um, <clears throat> a fun game. We'll see how he um, <clears throat> adjusts it. Because, um, obviously, <laughs> it's a pretty big blow. Now, look at that yellow. <clears throat> that is impressive, no matter what you want to say. Um, what did he do? So, still sent the tank in the Saka. One sub, three plane scramble. Excuse me, same, same, same. I wonder what the, uh, <clears throat> I wonder what the odds were <clears throat> right here if you had attacked. <clears throat> oh, no, not good. Not good. Okay. Just wondering. Um, still did the... Still substantial down there. Ten aircraft. Yeah, still pretty impressive, I think. Um, all right. Let's... Uh, that's... That's the fix for that solution. I think it's really interesting. Uh, let's... Uh, let's go. Let's go back and see what the Americans... Now, I kind of think the Americans should have been able to um, take, take the turns over. I'm not sure. So, let's see. She's it! We're on the internet. Oh, I see you. Probably on my bed. Yeah, he's on your bed. He's right. staring at me right now. Oh, wait, no, he's on Abby's bed. <clears throat> You know I'm home, bro. You saw me. You just chose to stand there, bro. All right. Um, game. All right. He buys five bombers. Now he already had seven bombers on the board. And he is trying for bright skies. I am, it is a long time since I've thought of um, bright skies, which I did uh, do at one point in time. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Battle in the Carolines, finally. Long time coming. I think you guys are going to be shocked at how this ends up. Okay, so we have five bombers, two subs, one fighter. Okay, so where are we going? So, Invasion of Caroline, okay. Fighters can get involved. They win. He takes down a fighter as a casualty. And the mech. Did he lose the plane in the anti-aircraft? Yes, he did. Okay, so they moved the sub into season six, <clears throat> which convoys <clears throat> lands the planes. 
Wasn't there a strap bombing raid on uh, Japan? That's weird. I was sure there was a straw bombing raid. What were those bombers doing? I think they did this. Okay, um, so he moves the bombers from Western United States to Korea. Bombers from Wake to Korea. Queensland to Korea. That's all, huh? Queensland to Korea. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Finally, uh, a sub in position. And then everything goes to 92. Now, I think this... I gotta say, I... I think this is a mistake. Um, I think this is a one of, I guess, a more serious mistake. I know that I'm not the champion, so. And we have seventy-seven dollars. Okay, let me just check the uh, edit on this. Okay, so removing British from 110, one infantry, one transport, one French from C zone 110, adding those units to one ten. Um I think they're arranging the transports, Who who's on what transport. Okay, I am going to press on and do just China. China won't be much, and then I'll do um, UK separately. Okay, uh, let me see here. Finally, the uh, Shahar Offensive. Uh, okay, let's see some progress here. I want to see something special because I've, I've been a little disappointed with the Chinese play. Shen Si, okay, he is going to try a plane versus tank. Interesting. Okay, he rejects that. And finally does combat. Shahar is a victory. Singhai is even Steven. Okay. 12 units in the backfield. Okay, Shahar would be backfield. <coughs> Collects five dollars. I feel I I do feel like those if those troops were alive it'd be <laughs> obviously better. Uh, let me just see how much he does here. I mean, if it's a slow turn, I would just I might just do it. Um, you know what? I will just do it. I'm gonna sorry guys. Uh, it's too long. It's too long for you. Okay, so uh, what is what is uh, the purchase here? Okay, so he fills up the um, the factories and builds two fighters. Uh, does not do bright skies with the English. A sub, oh, a sub in the Pacific. Okay, that's poison pill, by the way. So what he's doing there is he's poison pilling 39. No, um, you know, possibility of convoy. So he will fight, kill that transport. Yeah. 
battleship goes to Caroline Islands, retreat to West India. Okay, he moves forces up to Northwest Persia. He's, he's going to hold it. And everything goes to East West per India and East Persia. So he will back out of um, Calcutta. Moves everything up. And then drops an A gun to Gibraltar. Fire from 110 to Gibraltar. Everything goes 92. Three plane scramble with two transports and a destroyer just hanging tight. Okay. One more infantry in London. Collects 34, collects $39. Seven thirty-nine infantry in India. <clears throat> okay, so when I get the chance, um, I'll ask if you thought this is a mistake. Um, look at London right now. Two, four, six, eight, nine troops. Full German Navy. One airplane. Three airplanes. Four or five airplanes in the area. Bombers. One, two bombers. One, two, three, four. Can they reach? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put those bombers in the right area. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boy, that looks that looks sketchy, dude. I mean, England just looks with that navy and that air force. Got a transport in it. Wow. Okay, well, that's, um, how's, uh, and then this move, now, it's tough. Um, there's a lot of me that says, hold on tight. Um, I mean, um, survive, have troops. So I'm saying, for instance, that the Hunan attack was not good because it only took away air units, but it didn't take away ground units. And I'm saying this retreat here doesn't take away ground units. So, now he already knows he would lose, but, uh, anyway, he's a champion, I'm not, but, but my game is the same masterful play, so, he is considered Northwest Persia even more important. Obviously, Iraq is right there. So he loses Iraq, then all of a sudden, you know, Russia's down by five. That changes the calculus, right, for Russia. So Northwest Persia is holding out against the Germans. And Calcutta is only producing two units anyways per turn and will only produce three Germans even though it is a eight dollar territory five five bonus and three so yeah these these are rough moves these are tough moves I, I guess the big question is this right here those right there Seven bombers. Those bombers can hit Japan, and those bombers can hit Shantung. Or 
which means he's going to be maxed out on both those, I would assume. Which means Japan is done. As impressive as it is, now you can plop another factory in Malaya. But he does have five more bombers coming. So... I do wonder if 54, the 54 focus. Eh, he did have the Money Islands for one turn. And Japan was not, only making 52, so. Wow, these are, these are, uh, these are tough moves. I, I, uh, 11, 17, 18, 26, uh, 34, 35, 36. Wow. All right, this is Crack 36 signing out with an analysis of America. Uh, the second or, or edited Japanese turn, China and um, UK.